Ladies and gentlemen, now for your official introduction, the fighter fighting out of the blue corner, weighed in at 61.5. He's 17, stands 5'8". He fights out of fight ministry, Humberstone and Hills from Grimsby, Yahya Mazel! And his opponent fighting out of the red corner, weighed in at 62. He's 16, stands 6 tall. He fights at a higher level MMA and hills from Glasgow, Stephen Clancy Simmons. Your referee, Mr. Stephen Joji. Well, ladies and gentlemen, welcome back. This is 62 kilogram amateur MMA contest. Yaya Mazel fighting out of the blue corner, the black shorts trimmed with white. Making his debut against the 1 0 Stephen Clancy Simmons, the higher level prospect. Out of Glasgow. Coming out with some fancy footwork. It's Tansy Simmons. Oh, eats a right hand and gets muscled down to the mat. Oh, but lovely going for that switch. Needs to try and elevate the hips now. Got a lovely scramble coming here. Lovely counter wrestling And then. gets out. So beautiful work by both of these guys. Oh, that kick coming high. <laughs> oh! oh! Massive right hand. Oh! You gotta be careful not to. Sensible, sensible. You have to stay calm and composed. Yeah, Marzal is throwing. Oh, wow. Yeah, happy to walk into the fire. Yeah, Simmons as, doing a really good a, job of fighting those flames. Yeah. Just controlling them at the minute. Nice knee up the middle for him. Mazel. And again, it's very, very difficult to explode like that and not just be totally exhausted. Absolutely. Looking to embrace the grind a little bit. Clancy Simmons maybe slowing down the pace a little bit. Oh, oh, but nice. has to scramble. Nope. Yeah, lovely throw there by Hazel. Nice knee in the middle. God, trading punches in the pocket. Yeah, these two are here to fight. Yeah. Not one of them trying to back down. Nice push kick to the body there. Yeah, much more sort of orthodox striking coming out of Mazel at the moment. Yeah, Simmons cutting interesting angles. But it's, uh, yeah, it's Mazel who is throwing with real intention. You can see he's, he's, he's markedly slowed down now, presumably to try and recover some of that oh. energy back. Almost walks into that head kick. And it's giving Clancy Simmons an opportunity to land some shots at range. Kick heavy game coming from the higher level man. Yeah, he, he needs to be careful about just throwing those naked because it becomes quite easy to time. And you can tell that Marcel is waiting for those kicks to fly yeah. by before he explodes. Oh, digs the body shot, but gets the clinch. Body lock. Last 10 seconds. Oh, Good nice. knee to the body. Yeah. Attempts another throw, very high octane. Dig into the body to finish the round, Clancy Simmons. Uh, Simmons raises his hands, but Matt, I, I think the most significant moment of that fight was when he rocked him with those punches. I think so. I think so. That means so much, so much energy expended in that three minutes there. Yeah. It's unbelievable. Yaya Mazel just, just letting them fly. Yeah. But yeah, he definitely seemed to slow down at the end of that round. So it'll be interesting to see, is he able to, like how much will he have recovered now? Is he able to explode like that again? Or is that more to instill a bit of fear yeah. in Clancy Simmons? You can't just strike with me how you want to. Yeah, you're gonna have to, gonna have to expect that we're gonna go everywhere. Yeah. And again, um, fantastic scrambles from both of these guys. Absolutely. The, the takedown attempt by Mars at the beginning was picture perfect. And then the counter wrestling by Clancy Simmons, Simmons was picture, was picture perfect. perfect. 
We got Scottish MMA royalty in the corner over there. James Doolin could arguably be one of the best unsung coaches Ooh. in all of MMA. It was a big head kick there. Oh, oh yeah. lovely. Oh, love that. On his back and reshoots. Oh, wow. Attempts to roll him over the top. And now you just want separation. Nice. Again, very kick heavy. Yeah, Clancy Simmons. Mixing them up here, switching stances. You can tell Simmons is starting to understand his distance just a little bit better. Things aren't quite landing as clean, oh. except for that shot. Yeah, that, which didn't land clean at all. <laughs> oh. Nothing worse. Oh, man, that's awful. Hate those. Absolutely hate those. Seems to be shaking it off all right. I mean, as, as far as getting hitting the groin goes, could have been a whole lot worse. Yeah. So what's the stance on those old school Thai steel cups? Uh, I'm not sure you're allowed yeah, those. Yeah, because, man, I, I, I feel like the plastic ones, it does protect you, but man, it still really registers. Oh, ducked under that head kick, and now we're going to get a fight in a phone booth. Oh. And I think the fight in a phone booth favors the fight ministry Humberston man. Yeah. Yeah, Mazzo. Doesn't have to worry so much about the length of uh, Stephen Clancy Simmons. Okay, just pushing in, trying to get around that body. And I mean, he is just storming in with reckless abandon. It hasn't been caught yet on the counter, though, so. Yeah. Oh, yeah. I mean, yeah, if it, if it ain't broke, don't fix it. Oh, again, still managing to dig knees in from, the, from his back to the cage, but Stephen Clancy Simmons pressuring now. Yeah, nice work. Good hand fight here. Oh, lovely head movement by Marzel. Where's that shot? Leg kicks coming, kicks coming, kicks coming. Yeah, and the fight ministry Humberston corner predicting the kicks out of Clancy Simmons. Yeah, trying to be a little more of the matador at the moment, Simmons. But again, he's got to be conscious of the volume. You know, e even if shots aren't necessarily landing clean, he needs to do what he's doing yeah. here and continue to throw. Oh, big left hook. Yeah, and it's 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 the hands versus the, the feet at the moment. Yeah, but Merz was doing a better job of closing yeah. off that space. Like, every time they're engaging in a clinch, it's because Merz wants to. Yeah. You know, Simmons might be ending up in, like, decent positions like but this. But this is not what, yeah, he didn't start this. No, he wouldn't choose to be in these clinch positions. So, like always in your face is Mazza. Like never gives you a second to, oh. to breathe and quite happily throw heavy leather. Wow, lovely combinations from both of these guys. Oh, and leaps into those hooks. And Stephen Classy Simmons calls him on. Oh, scores a big take down there. But. You know, is that too little, too late for the round? Who knows? <laughs> oh. Yeah, I, I don't know. I, the, the striking is, it, it, I mean, it is on a knife's edge who's winning these rounds. I would say, in general, Marzo is landing the more significant shots at a slightly higher rate. But it really is very, very slight. It's, it's, it's a good tight fight. Again, the matchmaking here has been absolutely stunning so far at BMF7. Yeah. Well, look, it, important to recognize Clancy Simmons was able to take Marzel down and hold him there. Yes. Marzel was not able to do that to Clancy Simmons. Yep. So perhaps the route to victory for the, the Scott is to go for that takedown. Maybe. Well, would, again, James Doolin, there in the corner, giving him some advice. I think that's Conley Lawal as well over there. The Four Nations champion. Fantastic fighter in his own right. And both of these fighters jawing, grinning at each other. Seconds are cleared. Here we go. 
Oh! oh. Powerful left hand there. Just loads up a little too much with those, I think. Yeah. But again, I like the volume. Oh, they, they both shot, but Marshall got there first. And scores the takedown. Right in his own corner as well. Yeah, really, really great stuff. That's a yeah, fantastic place to be in the fight. Ministry Humberston team right there. We were talking about it in the context of Simmons, but a, a, a takedown and top control for either of these guys might determine who wins. All right, now. Oh, no, nearly, nearly gave his back. Yeah, he was trying, trying to get in somehow, some way, and managed to fall himself into the half guard. It's a wide open half guard. Yeah, I mean, not a lot stopping him from sliding through. And now it looks more locked up, but yeah, trying to get that knee shield in and create space. But it's hard when you're trapped against the cage like this. Yeah, this is exactly the round that Marcel needed. Yeah, absolutely. The fight ministry Humberston team gotta be happy. However, I'm gonna oh, oh, beautiful I'm throw. But he's still still chasing the single. Or was. Unfortunately, that's why the throw worked. If he had an arm free to post and regain his balance, he might not have been uh, thrown like that. But now back up on his feet. And now in a position where he's exchanging knees, he's pressuring Mazel up against the cage now. Yeah, Mazel being told to widen his base, make sure that he doesn't give up this takedown. Trying to ankle pick. Le Elevates the leg. Oh, and Simmons now in on a body lock, forced to go higher. Oh, lovely foot sweep there. And now he's got to work. Oh, a beautiful pass. Neon belly straight over him. Oh, I mean, wow. I mean, this is a tale of two halves for well, this third round. Starting to land some heavy shots. On the back, can he flatten him out? Oh, he's, he looks he's like he's chasing the, the rear naked. That rear naked choke is close. Wow. Simmons might going to survive, is he? Oh. If Simmons can stay here and put a stamp on this round, it might be enough to Could win be, it. Could be, absolutely. Taking the back now. Oh, that arm's close. Oh, and finishes the round, just locking it up. What a fight. Wow. What a scrap. Woo. Fantastic work by both these guys, Yaya Marzel and Stephen Clancy Simmons. Oh. You two put on a fantastic fight tonight. What a fight. Wow. <laughs> so you want to you bet on the winner? <laughs> no. Um, I'm, I don't know. I don't know how the judges will have seen it. I, you know, there's an argument could be made. I think you could make a pretty realistic argument both ways. Yeah. Yeah, I think so too. Maybe though for me, the man in the red corner, Stephen Clancy said, me, I, I don't know. It's hard to say because I feel like the shots of Marzal were more damaging. There, there was a lot more risk early yep. on of him being finished with strikes. But then... There's no question at the end there, Clancy Simmons came the closest to securing that submission. Right. It, three, three smarter people than me are going to make this decision. Mr. Seth Khan has stepped into the cage. Going to call the fighters to the middle. Ladies and gentlemen, after three hard fought rounds, we go to the judges' scorecard. We have a split decision. In favor of your winner, Stephen Clancy Simmons. Please show your appreciation for Yahya Mazel.